Let's go to the gym. What is up and what is up? <laughs> your girl Maya back to the back to the back at it again with another vlog I feel like my whole channel is literally going to become vlogs because this is my favorite type of video to make so if I love it and then I'm gonna keep on doing it and y'all today we're going to the gym I wanted to do a gym vlog because when I tell you I get so many questions about where I get my gym stuff what pre-workout do I take what's my workout routine what's my da -da 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 and first and foremost before we get started with everything I just want to say what's up y'all don't forget to subscribe because your girl's been super consistent and oh my goodness so consistent and working so hard and sometimes you know it just is stagnant and it can get discouraged but I know you guys are gonna come through with the love and support but y'all first and foremost I don't want to go to the gym today. I actually am in a really bad mood. <laughs> like, I'm actually in a really bad mood and I don't know why. I really don't know why. Why am I in a bad mood? I have nothing to be mad about, but I'm actually mad. Like, I don't know why. But I'm forcing myself to make this video and to go to the gym because I know it'll make me feel better. Even, like, pressing record on my camera already is making me feel a little bit better. So, this is, like, the reality. Not every day do I want to go to the gym. No sometimes it's a force like literally dragging myself to get there but i know it's gonna make me feel so much better so usually i wake up just to give you guys a little bit of context because this is like out of the normal for me first of all because it's about to be 6 30 p.m so usually i wake up um and go to the gym at eight but today we didn't have a morning class i have a personal trainer my good sis right here i love her so much so i usually go to my personal trainer at eight but we didn't have class today so i, I decided to go to the 6 30 and today's supposed to be my rest day but I wanted to make this video one and my personal trainer told me to pull up because it's supposed to be a really good class. I've never gone to this 6.30 class before, but we're going to see what it's talking about. So, yeah, y'all, honestly, I need to hurry up, though. I need to hurry up. So let's pick out something to wear to the gym. And I do want to talk to you guys a little bit more about, like, my whole gym routine and stuff. This is far from aesthetically pleasing, but this is where all my gym stuff is. This whole big box is filled with gym clothes. So let's pick out something to wear. I just got my braids done, so they're really stiff, so I'm like moving like this. So I don't know how that's gonna work at the gym, but yeah, aren't they cute, y'all? But anyways, body dysmorphia is real because I used to literally love all my cute little bra short sets, and now I just wanna wear like shorts and a baggy shirt. <laughs> but it's okay, we gonna wear something cute because it's a cardio day. I honestly don't know what to wear today. But for my routine, y'all, I work out five to six days a week. Monday, leg day, Tuesday, cardio, Wednesday, leg day. And by legs, I'm like, it's a specific group. Monday's more of like quad focus as opposed to Wednesday, more hamstring, glute focus. So we got Monday quads, Tuesday cardio, Thursday, er, Monday quads, Tuesday cardio, Wednesday glutes, Thursday rest day, but today I'm doing cardio again, Friday upper body. And then Saturday, we got another booty burn. So today is, like I said, it's going to be a giving a little bit of um cardio, cardio -ana. What am I going to wear? It's, okay, honestly, I should wear pants because we're going to be running on the treadmill. These are cute. I like these. And they're from Firm Abs. It's my favorite fitness brand. So I think we're going to do that. But now we need a top. I'm kind of bloated, so I don't want to wear a sports bra. But um, as far as pre-workout meals go, again, like I said, I'm working out in the morning. So if I'm working out in the morning, I'll honestly just have like a mixed fruit bowl with like strawberries, blueberries, pineapple. And then I'll have Greek yogurt, which is super high in protein. And then I'll have some granola. It's something light where I don't feel like it's too heavy on my stomach. Because when I wake up, I don't even want to eat. I literally have to force myself to eat because I'm going to the gym. So I eat something light like that, then I take my pre-workout. And honestly, like if I could take pre-workout and not feel so sick if I didn't eat, I wouldn't eat in the morning, but I have to eat because I take pre-workout. And it's good to eat before you work out. So yes, eat before you work out. So I eat something light like that. And then post-workout, I'll have like hash browns, protein pancake, eggs, um, turkey sausage, like a lot of protein, stuff that's high in protein. Cause that's how we get the gains over here. That's how we get the gains. 
so yes i'm already feeling better i'm feeling more like myself but it's so hot it's actually really hot so maybe pants is not the best decision for me i wonder where i have these black okay no i'm gonna find my black shorts hold on okay these are my favorite shorts ever because they're the perfect length and they're from firm abs again not sponsored but they're so bomb they make your butt look so good they got a little scrunch on them so i'm gonna wear this and then let me pick a top i'm honestly probably just gonna end up going with like a baggy shirt because girl on them days when you bloated you do not want to be wearing a sports bra but we'll see so yeah today like i said we're doing cardio and i know this circuit that she's gonna have us doing is going to have me dead but i want you guys to experience it with me and my girl eva my bestie is pulling up so that's honestly the only reason why i'm going because i have every right to take this as a rest day but i am in such a bad mood right now well i'm really not no more but when i before i press record on this camera y'all i was not feeling it and honestly i was just gonna sit there scroll on my phone scroll on tiktok and get even more upset but i was like no let's take a moment sis go get away from this like i'm i work from home so i'm inside a lot so sometimes just going outside working out getting out of this environment just makes me feel so much better so that's what i'm gonna go do don't get me wrong i love my home and i love being in my home but i live alone so like sometimes it can get a, a little you know repetitive so i don't know what i'm gonna wear as my top but i need to hurry up because i'm acting like we got time right, honestly this is cute like this is a top but okay we're just gonna wear it because we don't have that much time so let's see your girl's looking a little bit crazy right now but here's how we're looking but of course you already know i'm about to jump into my fit so y'all can see what i'm wearing to the gym and this whole outfit that i'm going to be wearing is from firm abs so let's get it boom this honestly does not match and i'm probably going to change my top like this really doesn't match at all but if i don't change it this is what i'm wearing but i'm probably going to end up when i said my hair is so tight y'all i literally cannot put this in a high ponytail but it's okay but baby it's laid thank you little red but yeah we're gonna be late so let's go get this cardio day in y'all i need to show y'all what pre-workout i take because i already ate um i just had chipotle like an hour ago you don't want to eat anything too heavy like an hour before you work out so make sure you're getting that in you know prior to working out but yes i'm gonna change this top but we're gonna go get our pre-workout all right y'all so we have to hurry up because i'm definitely gonna be late but i usually take the um woke af pre-workout but it's in my book bag and I don't feel, well, actually, let me get it. So here's my gym bag. Literally have had this book bag since high school track, like sophomore year. These headphones, I'll link them below. They're from Amazon, super loud and they're like $20 and they literally are just as loud as Beats. So this is the pre-workout I take. It's the Woke AF. Definitely need to eat something before taking this. You need to eat something before taking any pre-workout, but this will get you going, girl. This will get you going. So literally, y'all be like, how do you stay motivated? Of course it's discipline. But it's also pre-workout because you take this and you gotta go work out like you just be so hyped so i know dry scooping is bad or whatever but watch what i do get some water straight caffeine y'all ready oh you should mix it up but i'm trying to hurry up mm. okay y'all book bag on and need a water bottle i'm just gonna fill this up ew this is gross hold on okay y'all we're running late we gotta hurry up i was gonna walk to the gym but we gotta drive because time crunch if you're an og then you know i have been i've been an athlete all my life so there was like a year senior year i did no sports and I was like super, super depressed. And it was just a really bad time. I was getting overweight. I didn't feel good about myself at all. And when I moved to this complex, they had a personal trainer here. Sorry, it's super bright. But they had a personal trainer. And when I say this girl changed my life, like she is literally the sweetest soul I have ever met. She's so genuine. And yeah, I love her. So if y'all could just give her a follow, like this is so real. I love her so much. So I'm about to head over there. I've been training with her for seven months. and. It hasn't even been about the physical results, although they've been amazing, but the internal change, the internal shift that has happened is just like mind blowing. So yeah, I love her so much. And if you can, and if you have, if you have the resources to get a personal trainer, by all means, please do, because I didn't even realize 
how messed up like my form was and when i say form is so important y'all it's so important so having somebody who knows it and who specializes in this is super important if you really want maximum results so we're heading to the gym right now it's literally like right up the street from where i live it's a packed class today y'all like packed but i don't even know where to park that's how par packed it is let's see i could park over here i'm gonna park right here right next to eva y'all that's her name that's my friend eva but yeah we're about to head in and i'm gonna show you guys my workout It'll probably be a voiceover just because i'm gonna be locked in but we're definitely going to tap back in after the workout and just have like a little talk about a whole bunch of questions that y'all ask me so let's go to the gym uh -huh. yeah yo there goes eva y'all i'm doing a gym vlog oh, that? right all right y'all so we here it's lit dang y'all on the treadmills already Okay. Eva, you're looking very much toned. Let her know. Let her know. What? Hard work, nothing less. Eva! <laughs> okay. Yes, y'all, we got it in, so I'll talk to y'all in the car. Done with the gym. You know what? I feel like today was the perfect day to vlog because to be completely honest, I did not want to go work out. <laughs> I did not want to go work out at all, but do I feel better? Yes. I literally... Even while working out, like, I still wasn't feeling my greatest. I didn't have my best workout today. But my coach, I didn't want to do my last set, but she was like, no, we're going to do it. She literally walked me through my whole last set. So that's what I'm saying. Having people that keep, keep you accountable for your goals is so important because it can be so easy when it's only on you. Like, if it's only on you and it only affects you, yeah, you could say no and you don't want to go to the gym. But when you have people keeping you accountable, you're going to have that extra push and that extra motivation. So... Even if you can't go and get a personal trainer shoot, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, like, fitness is so important. And it's more than just the physique. That's what I'm saying. It's so much more than the physique. It's literally a whole mind shift. So take your health seriously. You know what I'm saying? We only have one body, so y'all really have to treat it the best that you can. And that starts with just showing it some physical love. And I'm telling you, once you start that fitness journey child this whole mind is just going to change so i hope you guys like this vlog and if you did and if you want more like it make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and commenting your thoughts below oh i am ready to go take a shower y'all see how gross and sweaty i am but it was so worth it i honestly should have worked out tomorrow because i literally just got these braids in and i sweat them out but it's okay y'all so i love y'all thank you so much for your constant love and support and i will see y'all next video bye what is up and what is up? <laughs>